Okay, so this is my daughter's B Ben uh, laptop that we purchased primarily for her schoolwork, and it's done a great job. It's um, it's not got that much RAM in it, uh, but it has got sixty four gig of storage. Now, the thing is, even at sixty four gig, although that makes schoolwork uh, very easy and storing bits and pieces, it's not enough as far as I'm concerned to be backing up the photos onto. So we've been using a micro SD card, uh, which is 128 gig, but I want to replace that now with um, uh, an SSD, a solid state drive. And to do that, we're going to use uh, an M.2 solid state drive. So this is the uh, M.2 SSD that I put into my son's. Uh, this was a 240 gigabyte drive. And it's a M.2 2280, and that basically means 22 millimeters wide, 80 millimeters long. That was uh, less than 29 pounds. That was about 28 pounds 50. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, my daughter's is a lot smaller. This is a 2242. So if we open this up, there we go. So, 20, so you get a screw with it. Let's just pop that there. So 22, 42, 22 across, 42 long. And that's what's going into this B-Ben PC. If we just have a look at what we've got at the moment. So if I open up folders, and if we go into this PC, so we've got 64 gig, uh, which is free space of uh, 24.9. And the available space is 24.9. It originally is 57.6 gig. So you've got um you've got a partition on there that'll have the windows back up, etc. Uh, so we want to increase that. Currently we're using a micro SD card, so we'll be able to take that out and use that somewhere else. And we're going to pop this SSD. I'm just going to shut this down. Right, so that's shutting down. What we're going to do with this is, if we have a look on the back, you can see a cover there, and I should be able to unscrew that, and this should fit straight into it. So let's do that now that it's shut down. So we'll turn it over, pop that there, get the screwdriver, and this is such a quick job. If it's anything like my son's, such a quick job. Pop that there. Take this out. So there, there we go. And it's, um, it can only go in one way. If you have a look down there, should be able to see. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it in this light, but there's the sockets there. As I say, it's sided, so it should just be a case of getting that and pushing it home. There we go. There it goes. Now, there's no screw in this one. There was a screw in the other one, so it's a good job they've sent this. So we've popped it in. We'll get this. Press it down, screw that into place, and that is the fitting side of it. Now there's one other thing that we've got to do, we've got to initialize and format the drive so that the PC can actually see it, but that is also extremely easy thing to do easier than getting the screw back in anyway oh well, no it's me don't actually need that screw because this screw keeps it in place so that's the first and only mistake that i'm going to make there we go screw that down Right, now, if we turn it back over, boot it up, I'll take you through the process of 
initializing the drive. Right, okay, so we're all booted up. I've had to go into my daughter's account because we've got her down as the administrator on this and it needs to be the administrator that initializes the drive. So the first thing to do is press the Windows button and the X key and you bring up the, uh, the power options. And over to the left hand side, if you click on disk management, let's just get rid of that. Right. Now, if you have a look, let me just uh, open this up fully. So, if we have a look here, before I do anything, let's just uh, pull up the PC and I'll just show you that it can't actually see the drive at the moment. So we've still got the C drive, which is the 64 gig drive that was on there. And we can see that we've got the D drive, which is the, um, the micro SD card. So if we go back now, so we need to get the PC to be able to see that. And that's this one up here. So although it's a 240 gig drive, there's a 223.56 that's unallocated and it can't see that because it's not been initialized. If we right click on that, it brings up new simple volume. Click on that and you get into the wizard. Click on next. Just make sure that these two figures are the same, the maximum disk space and the uh, simple volume size. Click on next. Right, you can name it whatever hasn't been taken. Uh, I'm going to just follow this. So we've already got D in. If I took out the, uh, the D drive, the micro SD, that'd appear on here, but I can't be bothered doing that. So we'll just go for E, which is the next one. And then next. Choose which file system you want. You need to have it as the NTFS file system. Next. And then finish. As you can see here, it's formatting it. And once that's finished, down here, it normally pops up to say that it's ready. There you go. So a new volume E. Now, that's the volume that she's going to back all the photos and everything up to. So we've increased this by uh, nearly four times uh, the storage space so absolutely fantastic she's going to be able to take this on holiday make sure that all the photos are safe now we do back up all the photos to microsoft onedrive also but this gives her a bit more independence and she can do all her, her editing and everything on here rather than just keeping it on the phone so that's a win-win and for 35 pounds for 240 gig you saw how easy it was to fit um, Again, this one was cheaper, but it's uh, it's bigger in size. That one was only twenty eight forty nine, but you saw how easy it was to do. So absolutely fantastic. And if we just go back into folders, yeah, you can see the new volumes on there. So we've got the C drive, D drive, and the new E drive there. I'm just actually going to rename. If I go into, if I right click on that, go into properties, it brings it up and I'll just put um, additional storage and apply. Okay have another look and it's changed it additional storage e so all done and dusted really quick very cheap 